millions of potential dollars. So, so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. We have the government. We have all these other brands on the entire planet, not just America. Remember, there's a whole earth here, okay, that do way worse things. And and we're we're stuck on the fact that YouTubers who make money, who want to make more money for their businesses and their brands, is a is a bad thing now. It's like no, nah, you should do it in a better way. It's like I get that, but it's like if they don't, why? What you want? What what does that what does that like? I don't get it. Mr. Beast continues to embarrass himself with Logan Paul by Dramari. Mayor situation with his best friend Chris. And of course, all the other allegations about him coming to light regarding faking videos, treating employees in potentially illegal ways, and overall, his brand and reputation has taken a major hit. For Logan, he obviously opened the CoffeeZilla can of worms once again. There was yet another shady project that he was heavily involved in now being exposed. And his beverage brand, Prime, has been losing relevance for the last calendar year. As the hype bubble on the product has seemed to have burst. And on yeah, it's not as hype as it was before. Blew my... <laughs> my bad, bro. That should be... Bro, like, I go to load up the video and that should be loud. Your cat, what, well, like, do cats have a certain, like, type, if that makes sense? Like, could you know how there's, like, oh, what breed of dog do you have? Do cats have, like, a, is there different, like, I know there's different colors, <laughs> like. On top of that, they are now facing a class action lawsuit, and to make matters even worse, they were then. But it's rare. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, like, bro. Normal cat? Okay, okay, okay. Not a pure beauty. Okay. Well, like, bro, like I was saying, like, the Prime. Like, Prime, now, like, when I see Prime, it, they, it went from being, like, a content creator thingy to be like, oh, that's cool, there's Prime, to now it's kind of just like, I mean, it's Prime. Now you got Gatorade, you got Prime, you got Powerade. Like, it's just, he just put itself right into the same line. So now it's like, Sued by the it's not crazy no more as well to as see company called refresco who had allegedly signed a multi-year bottling deal with prime when their sales were soaring high the prime allegedly tried to back out of at the last minute likely due to underwhelming performance basically when prime signed the deal there was no sign that the sales of the product would drop so much so prime then agreed to quotas that they would not be able to fulfill leading them to potentially lose a lot of money on the deal so prime then goes to this company allegedly and now refresco wants 60 million and so i'm sure you're wondering at this point well okay what do 60 Mr. million and logan paul have to do with each other well for years they have seemed to have had a good rapport logan has actually been one of the main focuses of several of mr beast competitions and and videos and mr beast has been on logan's podcast and featured in his content from time to time as well well now mr beast and logan paul are coming together to create their latest garbage product that they will peddle on their young impressionable audience so it all really started when logan paul tweeted out this a couple of days ago where he says be there monday 12 p.m eastern sharing this photo of oh and then mr beast like KSI, silhouette where he says that they're on to the next chapter the next day, he would go on Instagram Live with Mr. Beast to announce their latest product. Perhaps you are familiar with this product. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Wow. No yeah. way. So, if you look closely, this product has a candy, mm. an entree, mm. and a drink. Wait, wait. I think I'm starting to see where they're going here. Wait. A drink? A drink. Some chocolate. Yep, some chocolate. Oh. Because the drink is prime. The candy would be Mr. Beast bars, I'm guessing. And what would the... F mm. an entree. An entree. Wait, wait, wait. So, That's not an entree. It's a fucking Lunchable. There's no way. That shit's throwing me. They keep saying that shit. 
chocolate? Chocolate? A drink. A drink. And an entree. And an entree. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for laying that out for us. I'm not five. Who the fuck are they talking to? Like. Candy. Drink. Entree. Bitch. I see it. It's a Lunchable. I'm not Separate slow. Times. These guys clearly know the age of their target consumer here. Perhaps you guys are piecing this together, but 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 this is this is Lunchables. No, not even that. I don't care. I don't even care if it's like kids watching. They're not dumb either. They they know what a Lunchable is. You don't gotta explain a Lunchable to a kid. That's that's the one person you don't gotta explain a Lunchable to. I swear you wouldn't. This is something you know. It's, that's all they wanna it's eat. Eating. It's a thing. It's, it's in a thing. McDonald's Happy Meals, twenty four seven chicken nuggets. Yeah, we don't have to. No, we don't gotta. You know, you don't gotta explain that shit? What's your thoughts on it? Tell us what you think it is. So as you guys can see there, they even recruited the Rizzler to give his opinion on Lunchables. I thought that was Hasbulla. I mean, in general, Lunchables so are known for weight. just being absolute ass when it comes to nutrition. Their packaging apparently has a whole lot of lead in it, and it was actually a product that was built out of failure. Back in the 90s, they had all this mystery meat that they really did not know what to do with because no adult wanted to buy it anymore, and so they thought, hmm, what are we going to do with all this? We're going to have to close down these different manufacturing plants. And that was until someone had the genius idea of marketing it towards kids, giving them a little bit of autonomy, like, hey, I can make my little sandwich at lunch, package that with some good marketing and a good product design, and it was just an absolute hit. But that does not mean it's ever been considered something that's actually good for a kid to consume. Can you do the face too? Oh my god! <laughs> um, so, okay. perhaps you piece this together, because we realized, in JJ, Oh my we have a drink. Here, you want to hold it so it's easier to visualize? Here it is. You and the fact that it's in like 180p is like frying me right now. I sell chocolate. We thought we came together. Who is the Wi Fi provider? Dog, these three, if I showed my great man, look, if I showed my great grandma. Do you think any of these guys are multi-millionaires from the way this video looks? I don't think she would say yes. Cause, 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 no way. This quality blows. You, you can't even tell if you didn't even know who these people were. You wouldn't be able to tell by the pixels on the screen. Multi-millionaires all right here in the Wi-Fi is dog water. This shit looks stupid. Together mm. to create a lunchables competitor. Why is it in 180p? <laughs> Drink the fastest growing hydration beverage ever and the fastest growing candy. You ever. can't even tell what they're holding in their hands. Bro, facts. Looking at the screen like that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. So we did that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce you to lunch. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. The fact that the stream is like breaking down like it has around 10 pixels right now is just actually so prophetic that it hurts because to me this whole idea with if this was supposed to be a professional reveal uh, uh, a big thing why in the fuck would you sit here and do it on Instagram live why why not just go like why y'all couldn't have gone like live on like all y'all YouTube channels all at once? I swear you would have got people in there. They could have all went live on YouTube and Twitch and TikTok. TikTok probably would have got you the most. Like, bro. YouTubers and didn't go on YouTube. <laughs> it don't make sense to me. Your biggest following, especially Mr. Beast, like your channel has what 300? Don't he have 300 mil? He has something. I know he has like an insane amount of like subs, bro. Like, I don't even remember. The last time I seen him, he was at 100 mil. Yeah, he has 300 mil. You have 300 million subscribers, right? And you're dropping a new product to, you know, make money off of. Why would you go live on IG? That don't make sense. Just go live on YouTube. You have 300 million people that would probably watch. I swear, if I see, 
if anyone's seen or if I've seen a notification of Mr. Beast going live, I'd be like, Mr. Beast, rare. I've never seen him go live on YouTube for real. So, like, I'm pretty sure, like, people would watch. Was just entirely what? half-assed. Like, this is literally just like... <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> bro, it's just because, like, I'm only going off because it's just like, I, it don't make sense. I hate, bro, I hate things. I hate when people do something in a like dumb way and it's like they have access to like to do something in a more professional way i guess you could say like it's not like these are like starter youtubers trying to launch their brands in their youtube channels all at the same time they're, they're established and it's in 180 Lunchables homework and trying to change a couple of things on their paper and here these guys are acting like they discovered <laughs> it's like yo product and so yeah it's essentially a feast of bulls prime collab you got the pizza edition which is a blatant ripoff of the lunch <laughs> you got the turkey could have done it without you bro they're some of the most famous to kids right now streaming it exactly 144p this shit makes no sense like bro you can't even see like dog I swear, if I showed any child this right now, I bet you they probably, they, and you know what's crazy? They probably still could tell that's them. That's the crazy part. And they streaming in 144p on IG. Like, bro, thank Slux you for the follow. Zero underscore is now following. Even this Logan Paul. It's my guy, Flux, bro. <laughs> record, you can eat lunch, leave for dinner, too. Like Mr. I'm Beast, I'm not gonna lie. If I walk into the room and I see my child eating lunchly for fucking dinner, it's gonna be a problem in that house. I'm being so serious. You're not gonna eat that, and we just made food on it on the counter, like on the stove, bro. No Sorry, way. But if you were an adult or even a kid grabbing one of these for dinner, either you need a better parent or you as an adult need to develop some better decision making skills. Here was KSI announcing the product on Twitter, and as you guys can see in the comments, the fans are not happy. They say. This is unhealthy for you guys. Don't consume. A collab with Mr. Beast, not a good look. We will not be buying. Damn. This isn't lunch. None of this is lunch. You're poisoning these kids. You could literally market anything healthy or beneficial successfully. Do better. So Damn. here I am on their website, guys, just to see what it's all about. Lunchly, have fun for lunch. There you have okay. three existing products brought to you by creators that leave no... But you see how, like, the website's per... Like... The website's professional. Everything looks like an actual brand. Everything looks thought out. But these niggas went live in 144p. I don't get it. It's frying Gross. me. I don't know why. Delivering the dream beyond basic lunch kits designed by today's internet icons. I mean, aren't these things literally the definition of basic? Like, this shit literally looks like an off-brand Lunchable that you would see at the Dollar Tree. And I like how here they say, live in the bite life. And it's just a bunch of random photos of these guys that literally have nothing to do with the product. Like, to me, this whole project just looks incredibly half-assed. But don't worry, guys. You can Damn, half-assed? Damn. Maybe I'm, maybe I ain't go hard enough. It's gonna be the life of the lunchroom when you whip this out your backpack. I mean, literally, guys, just look and read how many chemicals are in this bullshit. Now, the credit I will give to Mr. Beast here is that he does seem to have the cleanest product. Yeah, I was about to say, Mr. Beast joint looks like I can literally, literally, the joint above this says fucking spice extract lactic acid starter culture. What the fuck is that? Mr. Beast bar got milk chocolate, sugar, whole milk powder, cocoa butter, unsweetened chocolate, soy, vanilla extract, Crisp rice flour, sugar, salt. Okay, so I could have just read it in it. All right, bro. On this entire list. But obviously, chocolate is still not good for you, and this is still essentially just a box of sugar and carbs and empty protein. And so they say this is how they stack up against the competition, okay? I mean... I... I... Ah, ah, okay, this is them versus know. the leading brand who is likely lunchable. Lunchly is flavorable. The leading brand, standard. And here, once again, Prime flexes their electrolytes. Oh, they have bold packaging. The other guys, they're basic. Big gestures, okay? Mid moments. Who the fuck came up with this? Now, here <laughs> <they're> <laughs> <laughs> 
big gestures mid moment. <laughs> so like no to way, really no way. Launchables, which I always think is kind of like a corny way to market a product. I mean, I'm not surprised that they did this because in literally every single marketing campaign I've ever seen from Mr. Beast Feastables, he goes out of his way to try and shit on his lead competitor Hershey's. I was in a Feastables business meeting and I realized tasting better than Hershey's wasn't so special. Doesn't everything taste better than Hershey's? Honestly, I think Hershey's bars just taste like shit, to be honest. It's been here forever. They're kind of boring. They just have the shelf space and no one really competes with them. And I think it's time someone just comes in there and it's like, shut up, you boomers. Make new products and innovate or just get the fuck out of here. All the time, I just grab a Hershey's bar and anytime I see throw it at the wall. It's yeah. kind of a joke. <laughs> oh, so that's so funny. I'm going to buy a Hershey chocolate bar. Which is horse shit. Which is horse shit. <laughs> for a feastable. Great. And the Hershey is going to go to what? What is that going to go to? Some rich guy. Some fuck rich dude. Yeah. yeah. That rich guy. But Mr. Beast, um, I don't know if you know, or like, I don't know if you look at your bank account or wherever you bank with, like Capital One, Navy Federal, uh, Wells Fargo, um, America's, I was about to say America's best. Niggas are hungry. <laughs> I was about to say America's best wings. No way. Just, just it, wh whoever you bank with, I, I, I don't know if they see you like bank statements or you know, whatever. But I, I think you do have a lot of money. I'm just gonna assume, okay. I'm just saying, you know. That's that's just you're also another rich guy. <laughs> Five festivals, everyone. <laughs> to me, that kind of stuff always just makes your company look really immature. Either yeah, way, bro. they're marketing the same protein, less calories, more electrolytes, and less sugar per package. And it looks like that was their main focus for these three different products that they're delivering. But to me, these numbers are pretty minuscule, and I don't think that it's always the, like, end-all, be-all when it comes to nutrition. Like, if I'm a parent, I'm more concerned with what's actually going into this shit. I don't know, I just think it's ridiculous that in this country there's literally almost no restrictions on what they can feed the general public. This is stuff that's literally marketed towards kids, and it's all just a bunch of shit, whether it's Lunchly or Lunchables. It's not good for you and it's a bunch of processed crap. You know, I understand, like, as a parent, oh, it can be easy to just go grab the Lunchly, but God, you're doing your kid a serious disservice if you're feeding them this on a regular basis. I mean, on a regular basis, it's crazy, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. Who cares? The, nigga, we still gonna be, they gonna be eating good regardless. Like, I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. But like, respectfully, if you, if you sitting there, I just came home from work. Forbes list, Mr. Beast in the top 100 most influential people to the younger generation estimates a net worth of 500 million. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> like, like, it's just gonna go to some rich guy. It's like, you are literally probably the most, I think, the most richest YouTuber on this platform. Probably in competition with like PewDiePie and like Coco Melon. <laughs> and Coco Melon is a whole brand now, so it's not even like a. The thing is that Feastables is actually really popular. Unlike Logan Paul and Prime, their sales just continue to progress. And so I don't really get why he would want to attach his boat to a seemingly already sinking ship. And this is actually all coming only around a month after Mr. Beast would announce his toy line, Mr. Beast Toys. In this ad, I'm gonna tell you about the greatest toy on earth, Mr. Beast Lab Swarms. Can I drink this? Put it down. Just mix them, shake them. Whoa, wait, but that just gave me some nostalgia. I ain't even going front. Wait, 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 wait. Just a little bit though. Like it looked like the 2000s like toys. type of ads. Except for that part. Except for this part. But like this whole part right here, this all looks like a old like that. Shake them. And create your micro beast. There's over 100 swarms to collect. Is this one rare? No. Is this one rare? No. This one is the rarest of them all, the Hyperchrome Micro Panther. Mix, shake, and create. Swarm, each sold separately. Thanks, Jimmy. I'm going to keep this one. You can't. There's only 1,000. 999. <laughs> and obviously, Mr. Beast audience is primarily kids, so he's going to be making products like toys, candy, 
and now lunch, Lee, okay? It's all geared towards... I care. mean, we're, what you want him to do, though? Like, I'm, Well, I get it. I get it. I get which it. To me, it's kind of crazy, given everything that's happened and transpired over the last couple of months. But with, like, Chris and all them? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. That is crazy. But it's like... Do you have 300 million subscribers to go against history? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I really don't know what to say in this situation because it's like, yeah, it's messed up, but it's like, yeah, I, wait, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm like, would you? With some of the decision making that he was making in regards to who he was hiring, who he was putting in charge of important financial. Yeah, what the fuck you want him to do? Like, like. Like I, hey, look, I he can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. It's kind of just like, bro, he he got so much bread, bro. He could just buy out the channel. I, I don't. I really don't know what to say. I look, like yes, yes, we could sit here and be like, oh, this isn't what he should be doing. Blah 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 blah. And it's like when people have power like this, you can only say and do but so much and other matters in the company i mean overall it just makes this rollout look a little bit crazy to me but if one thing is also clear it's that mr beast is likely not going to let anything stop him from pursuing his original plan before all this drama unfolded and he's just going to keep rolling with the punches at this point i think he's moved on i really don't expect him to even make a statement about any of the dog pack videos or like go on video or go on a podcast and actually talk about the chris situation either all we're going to get is like this pr apology statement from his twitter page and even like from a youtube standpoint he's just kept it moving he's kept uploading videos as he normally yeah would. Okay, yeah that's guys, true so it is officially the next day and i do have a couple of updates Oh, okay. This tweet right here from Dan TDM, it really pissed off Dan the TDM. boys involved with this operation. So he says, what happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Better. And obviously, I absolutely agree with his sentiment here. They're framing this like, oh, we're the healthier alternative when really. Okay, I didn't cry. Okay, okay, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's kind of like a check. Bro, I don't. Hey, look, I don't even know why it does that sometimes, bro. I'm not even going for it. Like. It's still the same processed crap. And so KSI responds first. I guess he thought this would be like a slam dunk. Where you I think it's just like the settings I have set. I, I don't know. I, I gotta just spend a day just like fucking <laughs> fixing that shit. Here's some of this guy Dan TDM's products, and it appears that they're all just pretty much toys or little figurines. I don't really get how this is relevant towards any sort of argument he could be making because these toys aren't gonna ruin the health of the kids that he was likely promoting them to. And if he yeah, it's just toys. To like, what the fuck Dan TDM do? to shit on the product itself saying it's like low grade well that's quite ironic because he sold the very same things and so obviously people started to make the argument towards him that he's really just talking but you talking about food JJ. he was sponsored and promoted and made a whole video on munch pack a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his microphone because now what but like the thing about this like the thing about this is like these brands here are already like it's not his own brand like th these these are already brands that he just got sponsored so it's like that's not the same thing he being a sponsor regardless like i don't know someone who made content for kids is making products for kids what the fuck you want to do if he makes it for adults he'll be good yeah it's like that too because it's like i know what they're trying to say like oh you're doing you're promoting this to your to kids and this and that but i'm like i'm gonna be honest though the p other brands and everything everything in this world ain't you think they're any better i know it's like oh yeah you're a youtuber and then you know what you know what's like the crazy thing the only reason people are like attacking mr beast like this is because there, there's a face attached to it it's only one person there's literally other companies that do way worse things or even like the same things 
and just because there's not a face attached to it, people don't attack them as hard. They they just call out the brand and be like, "Oh, that brand sucks," but they don't know really who to attack. But since it's Mr. Beast behind everything, they're just gonna come towards him and be like, "Oh yeah, you're this and that." And it's like, I don't know what you want him to do. Like, what? It's like he shouldn't make things for kids, but it's like he's a businessman at the end of the day. It, this ain't nothing new to me. I don't know. It, this shit, a sunshine. They think everything is like sunshine and rainbows. Like what? You think everyone on this planet, or like the people you look to, look up to, are all like you know, like good people? Twenty for not even like that. It's just like you're not a bad person. He's just making money. I don't talking about the food and it being processed shit. What? And so he says, but 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 he was talking about food, JJ. He was sponsored, then promoted, and made a whole video on Munchpack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience, full of kids. Now what? Well, yeah, he might have promoted this subscription. He just trying to get his bag. Facts, like. Mind, but that in no way equates to him heading this company and relentlessly promoting a product that he owns, that he's going to make the majority of the profit from. That is obviously not going to be good for anyone. Now here's where Logan comes around to respond to the same tweet where he says. I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our life creating content and building our brands. Now we want to build businesses. You don't say anything when Launchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead. But when we create a better version, you're upset. Then don't eat it. Honestly, and that, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm low key on Logan's side on this one, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If you, if 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 you don't want, if you don't want that, then don't eat it. They ain't say they ain't put a gun to your head and say you had to eat it. They just making money with, like, yeah, I don't, yeah, don't like Logan, but, like, he not wrong. Yeah, it's like, fuck. He, he ain't, they, they didn't say, oh, yeah, if you eat, if you don't eat this shit, you, you gonna die. It's like, you can say that. You can say that. It, Lunchables getting, bro, bad favorite Logan Paul video. Honestly, I just find this to be another really lazy cop-out. Like, dude, no YouTuber is going to be mad at a fellow YouTuber for getting out there and expanding their business. But when you're doing it in this way that just looks so damn lazy, and obviously you're, like, peddling these products on kids, I think that some criticism there is absolutely fair. Not even... T but... But other brands do this, though. This not nothing new. Like, I know he could be like, oh, you want him to be better than the brands and, you know, be a better representation for the younger generation. It's like, I get that. But if he doesn't and he just want to make money, fuck you going to do? I, <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. Ain't nothing for me to do. To mention that I'm pretty sure they allegedly found some lead within some prime okay i think they've been sued a couple of times for it but uh really shit on them because they're new bro that. and even the virtuous Facts. mr beast had to come through with his reply to this very same tweet okay oh Russia shit really you got mr beast replying to shit now Lunchables sells hundreds of millions of units and countless people eat it our goal is to give people a better for you alternative to it. Our turkey meal, for example, is 80 less calories. Wow, mind blowing. That's such a big difference. Nah, y'all dick riding now. See, I hate when niggas start doing this shit, bro. Dick riding. I don't like this, bro. Nah, cause I hate when people just be like that. Just like, less sugar, what you want? More electrolytes. We use real cheese. They use cheese product. They can't call it cheese. Higher quality meat, etc. Obviously, eating fresh chicken and broccoli is healthier, but if someone is going to eat a pre-made meal like this, which millions of people do through Lunchables, then I think giving them a higher quality version at roughly the same price is a net good in my opinion, and why we launch Lunchly. Oh yeah, you know, you just did out of the good of your heart. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the millions of potential dollars you could make. I mean, I want- What? 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 Oh, okay? What? 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 What am I am I like missing the point? I like I feel like I'm missing the point. That joint just cut off. I'm crashed out. <laughs> Wait, no way. Sickening, 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 sickening. That didn't just cut off for no reason. Sickening, sickening. Wicked work. That's wicked work. I won't lie. Nah, no way. <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way, <laughs> no way. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, you just did out of the good of your heart. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the millions of potential dollars you could make. I mean, I won't. Millions of potential dollars. 
So, so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. We have the government. We have all these other brands on the entire planet, not just America. Remember, there's a whole earth here, okay, that do way worse things. And and we're we're stuck on the fact that YouTubers who make money, who want to make more money for their businesses and their brands, is a is a bad thing now. It's like no, nah, you should do it in a better way. It's like I get that, but it's like if they don't, why? What you want? What what does that what does that like? I don't get it. I won't lie, there's the one thing that I don't really like about Mr. Beast and his whole brand. I know that he has done a lot of good for this world, but that doesn't mean that every single move he makes, especially fame like and agenda, business I moves, guess, his more profit driven moves have to also be painted in like this positive light. Like, oh, I'm doing something good, guys. Because you're really not, dude. You're kind of just like stacking on to an already existing problem. They would also release this short video doing a direct comparison between Lunchly and Lunchables. And this is where you get some of that classic Mr. Beast marketing, which is pretty much just shitting on your opponent. Lunchly versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. Ooh. Feastables crunch yeah! I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never eat no crunch bar at no Lunchables box. I'm that's not even glazed. I put that on my life. I put that on on God. I swear, I ain't never eat no crunch bar. Cause who eats crunch bars, bro? Come on, we gotta lock in. Look at this close up. You can already tell which one has better ingredients. All right, we'll start off with the Lunchables. Bro, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's who would have guessed they right, hate now them? We're trying I bet they're gonna love them. Uh, we're not biased at all. Jamari, what? Crush bar case out of school. <laughs> Facts, bro. No. Bro, like, J Jamari, why you, why, why, why are you doing that? So, yeah, who would have guessed they right, hate now them? We're trying I bet they're gonna love them. Uh, we're not biased at all, but I'm just. Oh uh, yeah, it's called marketing. Of course, I'ma like my product and then hate someone else's. That's the whole point. I'm not gonna lie, this video frying me. Way better. This is a lunchly salsa right here. Look at the consistency, the texture. And this is Lunchables. This and look, it's watery. It's Lunchable ham was fire. Dude, look at that. Where and they acted like kids not gonna eat this. Uh yeah, well, if you if you let your kids eat Lunchables, then you have a problem. If you let your kids eat Lunchables for lunch, then you can give them a way better option. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's like, we know that. No shit. I know it's not healthy. No fucking way. Yeah, I'm sitting here. I'm just like, this shit fire. This shit, yeah, this shit bomb. This shit bomb. Yup, 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 this shit fire. Like, no, what? No. Of electrolytes, no, it's crazy. Yeah. What? $4. Super affordable. Go give it a try. Oh yeah, personally, I would not be partaking. I might make a little video just to compare this to a lunch. Jamari, 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 please, bro. I love you, bro. You're a cool ass YouTuber, bro. Please. But genuinely, you are a grown man. It's for kids. Are we losing this? Finna be traded for lunch. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, bro. I don't, I don't even know, bro. I sit there. Oh, you say you got nachos today? Well, I mean, I got pizza. I ain't sharing shit. <laughs> I'm not, not giving none yeah, up. Guys, you really do have to start thinking about what you're putting into your body. You know, I had to have that realization a couple years. They are kids. What are we doing? You got to start thinking about your, what you're putting into your body. These are children. They're not going to know. Bro, there's, there, there. Am I, am I missing something? What? They are kids. As a kid, nothing you really ate for real was healthy 24-7, bro. What? These are not 70-year-old seniors. These are five-year-olds. Who cares? They're, you. I, so now everybody had fucking broccoli and fucking rice for fucking lunch. Are you serious? Years back, I was just eating like an absolute pig ordering DoorDash all the fucking time filling my body. we are comparing fast food to lunchables this shit is ridiculous i ain't even going front mr b smile is so incredibly it's awkward if i buy hershey's it goes to some rich guy but it just goes to a different rich guy like what was that compared yeah that was a bad comparison i already knew that 
Same, like, they, see, the thing is, with them, though, you mean your mom didn't send you to school with fresh cut sushi? Facts! Like, <laughs> like, like, what? What? Am I missing something, bruh? Like, I, it's like you're a kid. Anything you eat for real is like, it's not going to be healthy 24-7 because you're a child. You love candy, sitting there eating hella carbs. Hell, you're not a grown adult. Like, what? Body with all this. And stuff. I swear you're not a bad parent to let your kids eat some Lunchables, bro. Some Lunchables. No one's going to care. I won't because it's another brand. Different processed food and chemicals. And honestly, past like your physical appearance, when you're digesting all of that nonsense, it can straight up make you mentally unhealthy. Oh my god. Did we forget their target audience, bruh? Recess right after. That shit got worked off too. Facts! 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 It's gonna get burned off in two minutes! Yes! Yes! Bro, facts. Cause no way! No way! It's shit not even gonna be in their stomach for that damn long. They sitting here acting like these kids about to be like eating that for every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's like, what? You're a kid. Any, bro, 90% of a kid's diet is chicken nuggets, Lunchables, ice cream candy, and, and like just, just hella junk food, chips. Like, the only time you eat anything that's probably gonna be healthy is when it comes to dinner. And that's if your parents like cook. <sighs> Fucking OBS, bro. Is it back? I, th I think it's back. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's good now. Okay, okay, okay. But, like, yeah, bro. Like, what? It's like, bro, you literally said that the target audience. This, this is like, man, this about like the worst Wi-Fi I've ever had in my life. Like, I'm, I don't even know. But like, you literally said the target audience was kids. So if we all know the target audience is kids, why are we upset that they're making something that's targeted towards kids when every other brand out there is targeted towards kids? Like, what? Okay, all that shit is going straight to your brain. Y'all acting like McDonald's and all the other fast food restaurants don't still exist. And we all know that's just not good for you. We all know that. But we still eat it because what? Because we want to. Literally fueling the machine. That if y'all going this hard over some fucking lunch leaves, I want to see y'all crash the fuck out over some fucking, some fucking, like, Happy Meals, bro. This shit weird. It is your body. And just picture like if your body was a car, it'd be like dumping a bunch of used... Nasty and say that shit about everything. I want I want somebody to cur all right, so now everybody fucking vegan. But like, like what what are we talking about, bro? You eat tofu and salad for breakfast? What what? I'm gonna get my fucking man man, I need to get off this You're video. To it, like it's not going to make for a very efficient machine. But either way, I do wanna know what you guys think about this down. Man, 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 I don't even wanna hear that shit. I understand like the whole thing with Chris, so it's like, you know, <laughs> like bro like what oh, okay that shit was fucking losing me bro alright but like dog I understand like these, I don't even know how to explain it, bruh. Like, this, 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 bounce, process. <laughs> like, bro, what, what are y'all expecting, dog? All right, what man, are you if expecting? you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out another video like that. You know, just click it, click it right here. You don't, you don't got a sub or nothing, bro. I'm making it easy. Just, just click the video. It's on your screen already. Might as well. Go ahead, click it.